Welcome to class 7 mathematics chapter 2 fractions and decimals. Today's topic is exercise 2.2 questions 4, 5 and 7. Let's move to the first question. Shade 1 by 2 of the circles in the box. So total how many circles are there? There are 12 circles. We have to shade half of the circle. Half of 12 is 6. So while writing in mathematical form, we can write 12 of the total circles. That means 12 into 1 by 2, which is equal to multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. 12 into 1 whole divided by 2 equal to 6. So we have to shade 6 circles. It is shaded and shown here. Next question. Shade 2 by 3 of the triangles in the box. Then we can count total how many triangles are there. There are 9 triangles. Out of these 9, 2 by 3 triangles we have to shade. So we can write it as 2 by 3 into 9. That means 2 into 9 whole divided by 3. Cancelling 3 and 9 we get 6 triangles. That means... 2 by 3 of 9 triangles means out of 3 part, 2 part we have to shade. That means 6 triangles total we have to shade it. Now question number 5. First question 1 by 2 of 24. Of means multiplication. So children in the first step instead of of we can write multiplication symbol. Now this is of the form multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. Now we can apply the rule multiply the numerator with the whole number whole divided by the denominator. So we get 1 into 24 upon 2. That is 24 upon 2 you can cancel it. 2 is common in numerator and denominator so the answer is 12. Second question 1 by 2 of 46. That means 1 by 2 instead of of we can write a multiply 46. Now we can apply the rule of multiplication of whole number with a fraction. Multiply the numerator and whole number then put the same denominator. So we get 1 into 46 upon 2 which is equal to 46 by 2. 2 is common in both the numerator and denominator while cancelling we get the answer as 23. Now question number 5, second question, find 2 by 3 of 18. That can be written as 2 by 3 multiplied by 18. By applying the rule of multiplication of fraction by a whole number, we get 2 into 18 whole divided by 3, which is equal to 36 upon 3. 3 is common in both the numerator and denominator, so we can cancel with the 3, so we get the answer as 12. Next question 2 by 3 of 27. So instead of of we can write multiplication symbol. So we get 2 by 3 multiplied by 27. That is equal to multiply the numerator with the whole number 27 and keep the same denominator. So we get 2 into 27 upon 3 whole that is equal to 54 upon 3. Can, 3 is common in both the numerator and denominator. So while cancelling, we get the answer as 18. That means 2 by 3 of 27 is 18. Now, question number 5, third part. 3 by 4 of 16. In the same way, we can write 3 by 4 multiplied by 16. Which is equal to 3 into 16 whole divided by 4. 4 and 16 4 is common, so we can cancel with the 4, so we get the answer as 12. Next, 3 by 4 of 36, 3 by 4 into 36, which is equal to 3 into 36, whole divided by 4. 4 is common in 36 and 4, cancel with the 4, we get the answer as 3 into 9, that is equal to 27. Next, fifth question, fourth subdivision. Find 4 by 5 of 20. As usual, first we can convert of into multiplication symbol. So we get 4 upon 5 into 20, which is equal to 4 into 20 whole divided by 5. 5 is common in 
numerator 20 and the denominator 5. So cancel with the 5, we get the answer as 4 into 4 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator. So the answer is 16. Next question, 4 by 5 of 35. That is equal to 4 by 5 multiplied by 35. Apply the rule of multiplication of fraction by a whole number. Multiply the numerator with the whole number and keep the same denominator. Now 5 is common in numerator and denominator. So cancel 5 from numerator and denominator. We get the numerator as 4 into 7 and the denominator as 1. So the answer is 28. Our next question is find 1 by 2 of 2 integer 3 by 4. Here we can convert of into multiplication symbol and the second fraction is a mixed fraction. We can convert it into improper fraction. So we get 1 by 2 multiplied by 11 upon 4. Here fraction multiplied by a fraction product of numerators upon product of denominators. So 1 into 11 upon 2 into 4 equal to 11 upon 8. There is no common factor between numerator and denominator. And it is in the improper form. So we can convert it into mixed fraction. So we get the answer as 1 integer 3 by 8. Now next question, question number 7. 1 by 2 or 4 integer 2 by 9. First, we can convert off into multiplication and a mixed fraction into improper fraction. So, we get 1 by 2 multiplied by 38 by 9, which is equal to product of numerators upon product of denominators. 1 into 38 whole divided by 2 into 9. See here in 38 and 2, 2 is common. So, divide numerator and denominator with the 2. So, we get the numerator as 19 and denominator as 9. So, the answer is 19 upon 9, which is an improper fraction. So, convert it into mixed fraction. So, we get the answer as 2 integer 1 by 9. Next question, question number 7. B, 5 by 8 of 3 integer 5 by 6. In the same way, we can convert of into multiplication symbol and mixed fraction of 3 by 3 integer 5 by 6 into improper fraction. So, we get 5 by 8 multiplied by 23 upon 6. Now, multiply the numerators upon multiply the denominators. So, 5 into 23 whole divided by 8 into 6. There is no common factor in numerator and denominator, so we can directly multiply. So, 5 into 23 gives 115 upon 48, which is improper fraction, so we can convert it into mixed fraction. So, we get the answer as 2 integer 19 upon 48. And the last question, 7th, 5 by 8 of 9 integer 2 by 3. As usual, we can write instead of of as multiplication and a 9 integer 2 by 3 becomes 29 upon 3. Now we can multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So we get 5 into 29 whole divided by 8 into 3. Here there is no common factor between numerator and denominator. So you, we can find the product. So we get 145 upon 24 which is an improper fraction, so we can convert it into mixed fraction. So the answer is 6 integer 1 upon 24. Thank you and have a nice day.